During World War II, the Nazi regime in Germany conducted a variety of medical and scientific experiments on prisoners, many of which were intended to develop weapons or improve the performance of German soldiers. Some of the most notable examples include 1. High-altitude experiments, in which prisoners were sealed in low-pressure chambers to simulate high-altitude conditions, in an attempt to develop a pressure suit for pilots. 2. Frostbite experiments, in which prisoners were exposed to freezing temperatures to study the effects of frostbite and to test methods of preventing it. 3. Infectious disease experiments, in which prisoners were deliberately infected with diseases like typhus and tuberculosis in order to study the diseases and test new treatments. 4. Sterilization experiments, in which prisoners were subjected to various methods of sterilization in an effort to develop a method of mass sterilization. 5. Surgical experiments, in which prisoners were subjected to various surgical procedures, including limb amputations and transplants, in order to test new surgical techniques and to study the effects of injury on the human body. It's important to note that the experiments were performed without the consent of the prisoners and under inhumane conditions and most of the prisoners were killed or died as a result of the experiments. Some of the most notable secret weapon programs in Germany during this time include V-1 and V-2 rockets, developed by the German army, these were the first operational cruise missiles and the first operational ballistic missiles, respectively. The V-1 was used to attack London and other parts of England, while the V-2 was used to attack Antwerp, Belgium. Mi-262 jet fighter, developed by the German Air Force, the Mi-262 was the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft. It was faster and more maneuverable than any other aircraft in the sky at the time, but it was not used in large numbers and came too late in the war to have a significant impact on the outcome. U-Boat, the German Navy developed an advanced submarine, the U-Boat, which was used to attack Allied ships and submarines. They were successful in sinking many ships, but not enough to change the outcome of the war. The Horton Ho-229, this was a prototype jet-powered flying wing, designed to be a high-speed, high-altitude bomber. It was built by the Horton brothers. The design was promising but it was never operational during the war. The Fiesler 5103R, the 5103R was a manned version of the V-1 flying bomb, which was intended to be used in suicide attacks against Allied ships. The aircraft were built but never used in combat. The Arado AR-234, this was a German jet-powered bomber, which was the world's first operational jet-powered bomber aircraft. It was not used extensively during the war. In general, these secret weapons were not able to change the tide of the war for Germany. Many of these weapons were not completed or used in large numbers until the later stages of the war, and by then, the tide had already turned against Germany. Additionally, the resources and production capabilities were heavily damaged by the bombing campaigns, which hindered the production and deployment of these weapons. It is impossible to say for certain what would have happened if Germany had developed a super-secret weapon during World War II, as the outcome would have likely been dependent on a variety of factors, such as the nature of the weapon, when it was developed, and how it was used in battle. If the weapon was developed early in the war and was able to give the German military a significant advantage, it could have potentially led to a different outcome in the war. For example, if the weapon was able to quickly and decisively defeat the Soviet Union, it could have prevented the United States from entering the war on the side of the Allies. On the other hand, if the weapon was not developed until later in the war, it may have had little impact on the outcome. Additionally, if the weapon required significant resources to develop and maintain, it could have weakened the German war effort by diverting resources away from other crucial areas. It's also important to consider the moral and ethical implications of creating a super-secret weapon, such as the use of chemical, biological or nuclear weapons, which could cause mass destruction and loss of life on an unprecedented scale and could have led to even greater devastation and suffering than the war itself. The United States and the United Kingdom developed and used advanced technologies such as radar and sonar, which greatly improved their naval and air capabilities. 
They also developed the atomic bomb as part of the Manhattan Project, which was used to bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. The Soviet Union also developed a number of secret weapons, including the Katyusha multiple rocket launcher, which was used to great effect against German ground forces. The Soviets also had the IL-2 Sturmovik, an heavily armored ground attack aircraft which proved to be a formidable weapon. Japan also conducted secret weapon experiments, such as developing the world's first guided missile, the Oka rocket-powered kamikaze aircraft, which was used in the final stages of the war. It's important to note that each country had different levels of success and impact in their secret weapon development and usage during WW2. Thank you for watching our video on the history. We hope that you found it informative and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more historical content. Your support helps us to continue to create videos like this one. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.